Da Nang International Airport IATA, DAD, ICAO, VVDN Vietnamese, San Bé Quoc Tay Da Nang is located in Da Nang, the largest city in central Vietnam. It is the third international airport in the country, besides Noi Bai International Airport Hanoi and Tan Son Nhat International Airport Ho Chi Minh City, and is an important gateway to access central Vietnam. In addition to its civil aviation, the runway is shared with the Vietnamese People's Air Force VPAF, the Cong Quan Non Dan Vietnam, although military activities are now extremely limited. The airport served 5 million passengers in 2014, around six years sooner than expectation. An expansion of the new terminal is currently considered to increase its capacity to 10 million passengers per annum by 2020. This airport handled 6,722,587 passengers in 2015, an increase of 34.7% compared with that of 2014. This airport handled 11 million passengers in 2017, an increase of 24.1% compared to that of 2016. The airport has two separate terminals for international and domestic passengers with total passenger capacity of 11 million per annum as at 2018. History Situated on flat, sandy ground on the south side of the major port city of Da Nang, the area was ideal for an airfield, having unobstructed approaches to its north-south runways. Tehran Airport was built by the French colonial government in the 1930s as a civilian airport. During World War II, and the Japanese occupation of French Indochina, the Imperial Japanese Army Air Force used it as a military air base. After the war, the facility was used by the French Air Force during the French Indochina War 1945 in 1953–54 the French laid a NATO standard 7,800-foot asphalt runway at Tehran and stationed loaned American B-26s invaders of the Group de Bombardement 119th Gascony. In 1954 after the Geneva Peace Accords, these B-26s were returned to the United States. In 1955, the newly established Republic of Vietnam Air Force VNAF inherited from the French a token force of 58 aircraft. These included a few squadrons of Cessna L-19 observation aircraft, C-47 transports and various utility aircraft. Tehran Airfield was turned over to civilian use, with the South Vietnamese using facilities at Bien Hoa, Nha Trang and at Tan Son Nhut, near Saigon. In 1957 the VNAF re-established a presence at the renamed Da Nang Airport, stationing the 1st Liaison Squadron with Cessna L-19s. The South Vietnamese Army also used Da Nang as a ranger training facility. Air Vietnam also used the facility from 1951 to 1975 for civilian domestic and international flights within Southeast Asia. During the Vietnam War 1959 the facility was known as Da Nang Air Base, and was a major United States military base. Once little more than a provincial airfield, the facility was expanded to 2,350 acres 950 hectares with two 10,000-foot asphalt runways with concrete touchdown pads, parallel taxiways, and a heliport. During the war the VNAF's 1st Air Division, and the USAF's 23D Air Base Group, 6,252nd Tactical Wing, 35th Tactical Fighter Wing, 366th Tactical Fighter Wing, 362nd Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron, and the U.S. Navy, a detachment of VQ-1, operated from the base. Recent history During the year 2006, Da Nang Airport counted 1 million passengers annually 40,000 international passengers, the first time since 1975 it had reached this level. By comparison, both the 4th-ranked Phu Bai Airport and 5th-ranked Cam Ran Airport counted around 400,000 total passengers in the same year. In order to cope with increasing traffic, a new passengers terminal opened on December 2011. Facilities 
Da Nang International Airport has two 10,000-foot paved, parallel runways 17 to 35 orientation capable of handling large, modern aircraft such as Boeing 747s, 767s and Airbus 320s. Traffic volume at Da Nang averages 100 to 150 flights every 24 hours. Annual traffic was circa 1.45 million in 2007 and is expected to reach 4 million by 2020. A new 20,000 square meters terminal, costing USD $84 million with a capacity of 4 million passengers per year, opened to receive its first domestic flight on the 15th of December 2011. The feasibility study for the renovation of the airport was partially sponsored by the United States Trade and Development Agency USTDA, and was completed by PricewaterhouseCoopers in 2006. The new terminal includes five boarding gates, baggage handling systems, departure and arrivals areas, flight information display system FIDS, common user terminal equipment CUTE, fire detection systems and comprehensive public address and security systems, including screening equipment. Additionally, one of the airport's two runways was extended from 3,048 meters (10,000 feet) to 3,500 meters (11,483 feet). After completion, and at a cost of USD $160 million, the airport now has a total capacity of 6 million passengers per year. A new International Terminal 2, covering 48,000 square meters, with a total investment sum of $154 million and a designed capacity of 6 million passengers per year, was put into use on May 5, 2017. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Terminated routes At the beginning of 2008, Korean Air and Asiana Airlines announced the operation of summer charters between Seoul Incheon International Airport and Da Nang. Both carriers plan to convert this route to year-round regular scheduled service if this summer charter season proves to be successful. Transasia Airways started service between Taipei and Da Nang in December 2009, and China Southern Airlines began service between Guangzhou and Da Nang in January 2010. Flights operate twice weekly. The Vietnamese government is hoping to serve more flights to destinations such as Phnom Penh, Hong Kong, Siem Reap, Japan, South Korea, and Thailand after the construction of the new international terminal is complete in 2011. Tiger Airways terminated their Sin Dad flight due to high airport fees. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Accidents and incidents. On 30 September 1970, Douglas DC-3 DSTB-305 of Air Vietnam crashed into a hill near Da Nang while attempting to divert to Da Nang Airport due to weather conditions at its intended destination of Phu Bai Airport, Hue. Three of the 38 people on board were killed. 